Hey guys, so if you have a zip farm, there are a few things that you really need to know about your dosing system. You have an IntelliDose and it comes with a manual so you can read through it and probably learn just about everything you need to know. They are super, super simple systems. And um, from the menu, you can navigate to electrical conductivity, temperature, uh, pH, all of these different things. You can change the variables very simply. These are wired up very simply. They're, I think they're 12 volts, something like that into these peristaltic pumps, okay? These pumps, oh, these are 24 volt pumps. So this is a 24 volt system. These pumps are pulling from your part A, your part B, and your pH up. Now your part A will typically contain your nutrient mix. That's usually like, you know, eight, 14, you know, eight or something like that, right? Whatever your uh, fertilizer rating is. Uh, this and part B will contain your calcium nitrate. We like to mix the uh, potassium, uh, uh, sulfate or magnesium sulfate, okay, your Epsom salt into the part A solution as well. So we're usually mixing about half a pound to a pound per five gallon bucket. Um, mix it into hot water, stir it in really good, make sure it's dissolved really well. And uh, this is where we hang those. So these will hang down here. Now you will have to use either a pH up or a pH down. If you're using pH up, uh, something like uh, phosphoric acid is typically used. If you're using pH uh, or pH down, sorry. If you're using pH down, it's going to be an acid like phosphoric acid. If you're using pH up, it's going to be something like potassium hydroxide that you mix into this thing. You only want to use one. Never use both. Okay? Never use both. Even though you have this extra pump over here, you probably shouldn't be using it unless you're using it for just some supplemental things. Okay? So normally this pump will sit idle. Anymore, if you're getting a zip farm, you're getting just three pumps. So that removes that confusion there. Um, these will hang off of your uh, IBC typically, although we will have an option pretty soon where it's just basically a 35 gallon barrel that sits down here, which will be uh, mean that you just have to mix a lot less. Um, so the, the fertilizer that you choose and the EC that you run at is highly crop dependent. So if you're gonna mix crops, what you need to do is look at the EC range and the PEH range for all of those different crops and pick a range where they mostly or closely overlap, okay? Um, so the idea is to, to find the ideal spot, which uh, works for everything, is to find the spot where as many things as possible overlap and run your system at that EC point, at that pH point, at that temperature point. So as soon as you plug the Intella dose on, it will start running. The only thing you have to do after that, if you've wired these in, and those instructions, instructions are all in the manual. It's pretty straightforward. Of course, you can look at the wiring here, but I, I would use the wiring di diagram not necessarily use our systems as reference, but um, once it's plugged in, it's running, right? Now, whether it's running correctly is the big question. These are pretty self-explanatory. How it connects to everything else, pretty self-explanatory. You need to calibrate the sensors. That is the biggest thing of all. So calibrate your EC and your pH sensor. And if you have questions on how to do that, check out the NutriTest video. The NutriTest video shows me calibrating those sensors shows you how to do it, shows you everything that you need to do it. Once those are calibrated, the system runs. You just leave it plugged in and the sucker will just keep running. If there's a power outage, it will turn off and then as soon as the tower power kicks back on, it will run again. Recalibrate those things like once a week, it's gonna be more than enough, by and large, uh, if you're doing it once a week and uh, you'll be really, really happy with the result. By and large, it's a fairly self-explanatory, simple system to operate. Everything you need to know, we've already talked about kind of in the IntelliDOS uh, video. But of course, with any of this stuff, we love to hear your questions. If you have questions, let us know. Um, almost all this stuff we've talked about in some detail in various videos, so check those out first. And then if you, if you have a question that's unanswered, please leave a question below, get a hold of us, and uh, we would love to respond to you and answer your question regarding this whole setup.